sausage here, guys. We have a longtime family business to thank for a New England staple, a sausage before a Red Sox game at Fenway Park. Fenway Park all outside, about nine out of ten vendors all are carrying our products. And if you've had one of those sausages, you've shared a table with the Bianco family. We're all working towards the same goal to grow the business and, you know, make it better than we found it. Leading the charge is a new generation at Bianco and Sons. Louis, Francesca, and Joseph III have taken the reins of this growing company. We were kind of in middle school, school vacations, we would come to work. Joseph and his siblings are following in the footsteps of their grandfather, Joseph Bianco Sr., who started selling his secret recipe sausage in Revere in 1960. Joseph Jr. joined the business a few decades later and told Chronicle about his dad's recipe back in 2008. He used to go down in the cellar and wouldn't let anybody in there and he'd take his mixture and put it all together and bring it back up. Some things have changed since then, but not that recipe. In 2017, the company moved to this facility in Medford to keep up with growing demand. It was about 4,500 square feet. Now we're in 30,000 square feet. And moving here allowed us to get into retail packaging with sausage, marinated meats, and opened a lot of doors for us to you know, continue to grow the business. Five two and a half pound bags or one pound bag? Bianco and Sons five, products five, are now carried by every major grocery store in New England. In Medford, they also opened an in-house market. Well, there's a lot of regulars that might come in once a week. During the holidays, we might get up to you know, two to 300 people a day. If it's 4th of July, Labor Day, summer barbecues, stuff like that is when it really gets crazy in here. Joseph says the company is working to support families through their charitable efforts. They partner with the Department of Children and Families to provide lunch boxes and holiday gifts. Ultimately, family is at the root of everything they do. Hopefully, the fourth generation gets involved and, you know, we set them up for success. And even though sausage is clearly in their blood, they mm. have branched out. Yeah, marinated meats, which we mentioned there, are now more than half their business. So they've got a lot going on. They've expanded. Congratulations to them. That's Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Anthony. Everett. And I'm Shana Seymour. We'll see you back here tomorrow night. Good night, everyone.